Hi everybody, it's Allie from Padfoot Palms and I'm here with Iceland. Just having some one-on-one -on -one time and um, she runs away. You're making a video, goodbye! So I wanted to talk to you guys today about kibble. So I cannot tell you how many times I see in the Facebook groups people post and say, Oh, you know, my dog won't eat their kibble anymore. And my response is always the same. And it is, take a look at your kibble. I mean, take a look at this. These are dried out, crunchy cookies, essentially. Biscuits, they would call them over in Europe. Um... I mean, they've been sprayed with fats and enticers to make dogs want to eat them, but it's not something you would want to eat every day for every meal for your whole life. I mean, look at that. Would you want to eat that? I just dropped a piece. So, anyway, um, as a canine nutritional coach... I recommend a fresh food diet. I do not recommend kipple. Um, it is almost completely devoid of moisture. Dogs require at least 70% moisture. Um, you know, it puts the body into a state of dehydration just from eating a meal, which is, you know, not the natural way of things. And... Um, most of the kibbles that are out there on the market are just completely subpar. Um, you know, I mean, they meet a very basic nutritional level, but there's a huge difference between your dog thriving and your dog sustaining life. So if you are having a problem with your dog eating kibble, then this is the video for you. So, um, one of the, the things that you can do is you can add wet food, right? Now, I'm not a huge advocate of wet food. It is absolutely better than kibble. Um, you know, it's got the moisture content, but you have to be very careful about the ingredients, and you have to make sure that there's no carrageenan in the food. And carrageenan... Um, is actually a natural compound, but it has been linked to canine cancer. Um, it's a thickening agent. So you just want to make sure that you read that label and that you don't have any byproducts um, and that they use something like agar agar as a thickener rather than carrageenan. So you could add wet food. Um, you could add egg. Um, you can either cook the egg and mix it into the food, or um, if you have an extremely picky eater, you can actually crack an egg and mix it right into the food raw and give it to them raw. That's perfectly acceptable. Um, if you are getting your eggs from the grocery store, I recommend that you um, don't feed them the shells because they've often you know, been sprayed with things. Um, if you're getting your eggs locally, which I highly recommend either from a farmer's market or, um, you know, from someone local that has their own chickens, make sure you wash it really well. Um, even just before you crack it, if you're not going to include the shell, uh, if you have small dogs like I do, then you're going to want to look for quail eggs, which are significantly smaller than chicken eggs. They're only about this big. Um, they're little, brown and white splotchy eggs, and they're the perfect size for toy-sized dogs. Um, you can find those at farmer's markets, um, Asian stores, grocery stores, things like that. The other thing you can do is you can get a freeze-dried raw. Um, these are the mini patties, so they're a larger piece. If you have a larger dog, this would be a good an option for you. Um, or if you have smaller dogs, they do come in the little nuggets, which are about the size of kibble. I'm currently out of them, so I don't have any on hand to show you. But if you look in my other videos, I have shown um, 
the, the little freeze-dried nuggets, and you can use those. Um, some other things that you can add to kibble, uh, goat's milk, raw goat's milk, or kefir. Those are great sources of probiotics, and you can mix. Um, I recommend starting with just a spoonful at a time, just to make sure that your dog is you know, going to be okay with it as far as digestion goes. Um, and that's true of any of these items. You want to start with just a little bit and add it to the food. Um, you don't want to go and just, you know, add a whole egg in there and you've got a five pound Pomeranian and then the next thing you know, they have diarrhea. So just add a little bit in just a spoonful of whatever you're going to use. Um, and then take it from there. Um, some other things that you can add are low sodium broth. Um, even if you keep the, pieces of your vegetables, like if you cook up peppers and celery and things like that, you can make your own broth um, so that you can control the sodium level and you can add that to their food. Basically what you want to do if you're going to feed kibble is you want to get that moisture level up. So add water if you have to, add um, low sodium chicken broth or your very own vegetable broth. Um, you know, add things that are going to get that moisture level up and you'll find that your dog is more likely to eat it. Now, having said all of that, if you can add some cooked or raw meats, um, that would be preferable. Um, you'll see a huge improvement in your dog's coat, in their skin, in their eyes, in their energy level. Um, it makes a huge difference, but I understand that that's not in everyone's budget. So if you can, please do. Um, adding quote unquote human food does not make your dog picky. If your dog is sick of kibble, then they're sick of kibble. And there's no amount of you adding good nutritious food to their food that's, you know, gonna hurt them. It's actually gonna help. So um, the other thing you can do is you can switch your kibble. You can purchase a different brand. You can um, certainly upgrade to a higher quality kibble. Sometimes that will help. You can also add um, various uh, fish oils, although you want to be careful on the quality of those because some of those salmon oils are um, you know, pretty horrible quality. Just remember that they don't have quality control for pet products like we do for human products. So just keep that in mind. So fish oil, krill oil, you could even start with, um, you know, a teaspoon of coconut oil. Mix that into the food. You know, you again, start with very small amounts, especially if you have a small dog. So there are some options for you if you want to feed kibble, but you want to mix it up for your dog. Thank you.